a walkthrough of my electric scooter. So, just to preface this, I was never into electric scooters. Um, I've always been like a mountain bike, BMX kind of just, you know, casually kind of person. But I was coming home a few weeks ago and I found a an electric scooter in the alley, like partly taken apart. Um, the back wheel was off and it was heavy as hell. So I was gonna take it home and use the parts just for random shit, use the, the bars for something, use the, you know, whatever, just use random shit. Um, in the end, the bars sucked, so I'm glad I didn't use them for anything else. But when I was taking it apart, I found the, uh, the key in the, batter in the bottom of the battery compartment, turned it on and it worked. So I went back down the alley and this was like two days later. I went back down the alley, the back tire was still there. I grabbed it and underneath the back tire were the parts that have been taken off the thing. So I had basically a, a, a whole scooter. I had to buy a charger, which was like 30 bucks on Amazon. Um, so I had to buy a charger anyway. So I, I put it all back together. Shit. It worked. And I was like, sweet, this thing is awesome. It's, uh, it's heavy as hell, but I mean, it was free and it worked. So I took it out and messed around on it and it maxed out at like 12 miles an hour, which uh, it kind of feels fast at first on a scooter. But then after a couple of times, you're like, no, this, I need to go way faster than, than 12 freaking miles an hour. So, so at that point I decided since it was free, I was going to, uh, make up for it and spend money upgrading it, which in the end was still cheaper than buying a whole brand new, um, even if I bought the, the Moto Tech version of basically what I built, it would still be more, you know, well more, I guess probably like. 500 bucks more than what I spent total, which was like 500 bucks. Um, which most of it was the battery. That was like 330 bucks. And anyway, so I, uh, I digress. So I rode it a couple times and decided I wanted to go faster. So I started researching what I needed to do, you know, I looked at parts on, on the uh, the websites for the manufacturer, which this is an Uber Scoot, an Uber Scoot um, 500 watt, 36 volt. And uh, it's like the start out model. They don't even make this low of a model anymore, I don't think, because the new ones have the eco button and stuff. Um, so I looked on the website and I could only find some things that were in stock, some things weren't. Um, the battery was more expensive and bigger. So I wouldn't have been able to fit the original battery in this because the, the, uh, the platform, the middle part that the battery goes in is wider on the newer ones than it is on this one. So anyway, I found the battery through a, uh, a different site. So Aegis, Aegis batteries and I, uh, I ordered one and it was like the perfect fit. And, uh, unfortunately they, they didn't have them in stock and because of all the COVID and shipping delays and stuff like that, it was going to take forever to get from China to, uh, to here. So I ordered a 12 amp hour and that would have fit perfect. They upgraded me to a 15 amp hour for, uh, for free because they didn't have the other one in stock and, and sent it to me like two day. Um, it was awesome. So, so I got the battery taken care of. It's a little, it's a little bit higher though. So I had to raise up the, uh, the platform, which isn't a big deal. It just makes it so you can't fold it down all the way to where it would click. And so you can't grab it by the, you know, stem or the handlebar or whatever when you're lifting it but i made a grab handle and stuff i'll go through that in the video 
So, so anyway, upgraded the battery, the controller, the, uh, the motor, all to, uh, to the 60 volt versions. And then I, uh, I ordered the throttle for the 60 volt version. It never works, so I have tore it apart. Um, and you'll see in the video what, what that turned out to be. Um, so after that, I just kind of still wanted to upgrade some shit. So I, I got the, the front air shock and the back air shocks to replace the spring loaded ones, which after getting these air shocks, I don't even know what the spring loaded ones did. They, they just kind of sucked. Like these ones are way, 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 way better. And those were 20 bucks each, 20 bucks each for the back ones and 15 bucks for the front one. The, uh, the controller was 50 bucks. The throttle was 20 bucks. The battery with the charger was 330 and the, um, what am I missing here? I think that's everything. Oh, the motor, the motor was like a hundred bucks. I think I had an Amazon gift card that covered it, which was pretty awesome. So I think it was a hundred bucks. So anyway, around, around 500 bucks, it, it ended up being without the extra, you know, flashy stuff that I, I did after the fact. I added on um, BMX handlebars, actually high, high BMX handlebars that I was using on my, uh, my 24 inch uh, BMX cruiser. I'm into, I like old school BMX stuff too. So, um, and old mountain bikes. So anyway, I, uh, I put that on because the handlebars were just way too short um, and uh, not wide enough either. And this is way wider. I can make them a little bit taller and adjust them as I, as I need. I put different grips on because the grips just kind of sucked also. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. It's a fun little thing. It wants to pop a wheelie every time you, uh, you press the gas or pull the throttle too, uh, too hard, but, uh, you just lean forward and, and that helps a ton and don't gun it. Don't gun it either. And that, that helps a lot of times I'll start out in the slower speed. And then once I get going, switch over to the, uh, the faster speed. So I don't accidentally gun it. Um, if you watch one of my videos, I almost, I, I was popping wheelies and, uh, and I fell off, but I didn't fall down. I landed on my feet. Um, anyway, so, so yeah, all the, all the stuff that I, uh, ordered that was the manufacturer type stuff. I ordered from bigtoysusa.com. They carry all this um, replacement parts and Mototech stuff. So, so check those guys out if you, you know, are looking to upgrade your Mototech, Uber Scoot, whatever other name they fall under and, and need parts, they're, uh, they're good. And I'm in Chicago and they're in Wisconsin. I get this stuff in like two days. So, um, anyway, I think that, uh, that's probably, uh, that's probably it for my intro. I'm new to doing these videos and I didn't know what to call my, uh, YouTube page. So I just called it John's stuff, which I'm always obsessed with something. So I'll just start you know, recording and showing everyone else what, uh, what I get obsessed with at the moment. So for right now, it's, uh, electric scooters. So anyways, let's get into the video. So one of the biggest upgrades I made was the battery. This thing came with a whopping 36 volts, 500 watts, 33 pounds of battery and it just wasn't cutting it so I upgraded it to a lithium ion 60 volt 1500 amp hours or 15 amp hours 1500 would be huge 
15 amp hours. It doesn't have the wattage on here, but I believe it's 2,000 watts. Um, it could be a little less, maybe 1,500. But um, regardless, it's a big ass battery and it only weighs like nine pounds compared to the 33 pounds that the, the other uh, um, sealed lead acid batteries weighed. And there were three of them, one, one, one. And the controller was up here. So this battery, even though it takes up less space, it sticks up a little bit farther. So I had to kind of modify with these to hold the deck up, lift the deck up a little bit. Um, but I keep the battery towards the front to keep the weight in the front because it wants to pop wheelies every time I take off if I gun it too much. Um, anyway, so big battery, but the controller is really big too. So, um, the battery is the only thing down here with the exception of a few wires in here that are going back to the motor or the wires that are going to the battery also. Um, and I've got this little, uh, you know, jerry rigged lock right there that uh i just tighten up and it stays it stays tight i don't need to take this off really at all because i can just get to the charging port right there and charge my battery without without having to uh to take that off or lift that up so with this being higher it does affect the folding of the of the scooter um, I don't really have a need to fold it down unless I'm putting it in the car which if it doesn't lock down all the way when I'm putting it in the car is fine when I'm carrying it up and down this I only live on a half a flight of stairs carrying it up and down those I use this as the rear grab handle and then I just grab onto the uh, the stem or the handlebar rod and carry it down that way so it doesn't really matter that it doesn't completely fold down and it folds down enough that I can fit it in the back of my SUV so so there's that there's the first thing I upgraded the second thing I upgraded was the actual motor itself. It came with a 36 volt, 500 watt. This is a 60 volt, um, 2000 watt motor. So it, it's the same exact size. And I bought the one that had the post welded onto it. So I had to grind that with my angle grinder to get it off, but it was in stock and it was 20 bucks cheaper than the one without the extra mounting plate welded on. So I had to do a little bit of work. It took me like 10 minutes to grind it off and it saved me 20 bucks and I didn't have to wait like a month for it to come into stock. So I didn't change anything on, as far as the brakes go. The brakes are all the same, mechanically powered disc brakes. These ones squeak like freaking crazy. So, I'm trying to figure out how to clean them. I used alcohol, that didn't work. Um, any suggestions, let me know in the comments. I would appreciate it. Um, this model has the, if you can see the, uh, oh, what the hell is this called? The little mount to keep the, uh, the tire even. They all come with those, all of this uh, specific uh, body type, I guess, because they can be Uber Scoots, Mototech, all kinds of different generic shit. Um, only like the lower end models seem to come with this one that actually screws into the frame and then you can tighten it, um, you know, the rest of them just have the little tightening piece that you put around your bolt. I like this way better. It feels just, it feels 
like it's part of the frame and it's more making the frame more sturdy if that makes sense that could just be the way I feel um, the tires are the same that came with it they're they're 10 inch pneumatic tires that fit on a four inch rim I am getting some off-road ones to take this thing off-road a little bit and test those out in a couple of days but for riding around in Chicago on the streets and stuff even with the crazy ass potholes these are fine um, so okay we got the back pretty much covered the motor these shocks they the ones that came on it were spring-loaded shocks and they didn't work very well and they kind of looked shitty too they just looked ugly in my opinion so these were the ones that go on the new moto tech i think the 48 volt model same exact freaking body style as this and so i got these suckers and threw them on i think they look way better and they actually match the bar ends or uh, end caps that I have. So that was a uh, that was unintentional, but it's uh, it's kind of cool that that it happened. So we'll uh, we'll just go with it. Sorry for the shakiness there. Um, I put I put grip tape all over this because I don't want to fall off this damn thing. Um, and then this, I just looped through a bar that's welded on down there to keep the frames together or keep them stable. I pushed it through and I just keep it like this. It's, you know, something you'd use webbing to help tie down like a kayak or whatever, or a roof rack on your car. I had a whole crap load of it and you know, it was fluorescent green, which is whatever. Um, anyway, when I'm not, when I'm riding, I just tuck it down in there and, uh, it doesn't go anywhere. So, and these shocks, I just rode this today over a bunch of freaking potholes and road work in Chicago. And these are so much better than the old ones. They, they flex nicely, but not too much. Um, I really like them so so we got that covered now give me a second I'll come back and we'll uh, we'll look at the front all right so the front is a whole different story um, most of the uh, tedious crap went into the front so the I have a throttle and a controller that shows the charge level and has the eco and turbo button. That's only because I got this whole throttle they sent to me and the damn thing would not work. It would not work. So finally I just got pissed off and tore it apart. It wouldn't work because the throttle wires that hooked to a little magnet and there's a little uh, steel kind of rod that wraps around. That's basically the throttle. Um, that was new to me. Anyway, that part was totally screwed up. So I had to kind of tear it apart and I wanted the eco button and the turbo button I could do it by hand before, but I'd have to get into the controller and do it. And I just like to be able to switch it to slow mode for like, you know, if I'm gonna, if I have to go on the sidewalk for a few minutes or, or whatever. So anyway, the throttle, the charge um, status or battery status, and then the uh, turbo eco slow fast button um key goes right here so as you can see i i upgraded the uh the shock in the front also um it's just black so it's not 
It's not uh, the flashy gold like the back. It should be though. Same, uh, same road street tires on the front, 10 inch. I did take the, uh, I did take the disc brakes off the front because I don't like having them on the front. I like to just use the back and I like the brake lever on the left side where your like front brake lever usually is and then just the throttle on the right side. So that's really the only thing I knew I did down here. So took the brakes off and added the, uh, the nicer shock, which you don't really feel that much shock in the front, honestly. It's all feels like it's in the back. Um, moving on, I got this wild man case because I needed a hard case and a way to hold the controller. And this was the perfect friggin' size. And it's made for a scooter to go around the handlebars and hook on the, uh, on the stem. So usually I keep this totally zip tied the, the zipper and zip tie together so no one can uh, get into it, but I cut them off just so we could do this. I've got an extra fuse in there just in case. And anyway, here's the, the controller. It was a lot of fun figuring out what went to what. I blew one of the controllers and that was like 50 bucks down the drain. I kept it so I can solder and screw around with it and see what I can figure out. So, so yeah, this is the, uh, the controller. It's the 60 watt um, Mototech controller. So, so that's that. It zips back up. I'll zip it up later. So, yep, as you can see. Now, one of the coolest things is that I took my BMX handlebars and switched them out for the the bars that were on it. The bars that were on it just sucked. They were like friggin' two inch rise, crappy looking, like, I don't know, mountain bike handlebars. They just sucked. I wouldn't use them on anything. They were friggin' horrible and they made me have to crouch over. Even when they were mounted all the way up at the top, I still had to crouch over. So I put these on, I can fasten them down lower, which taking up less of this friggin' stem or steering pipe, whatever, and you know, having less between here and the handlebars, I feel like kind of makes it a little bit stronger. So that's why that kind of looks like crap. I'll touch it up anyway, which still makes them a little bit higher, but they're so much wider. The ones that came on it were like 23 inches wide, I think. And these are like 30, I don't know. They're pretty damn wide. It feels a lot wider and it's, it's way easier to, uh, to control. So, it used to wobble around a little bit in the front and uh and now it doesn't really uh it doesn't really wobble around at all when when you're riding you just lean forward a little bit put more pressure on the front i think that's how it is with uh with all scooters um honestly this is the only one i've ever ridden other than one of those crappy lime ones and uh that was like for 20 minutes so but anyway, I think I covered most of it. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or, or whatever, or if you just think these videos are stupid and there's already too many people out there uh, doing scooter videos and you want me to shut up. Or if you have something cool to say, also let me know. Thanks everyone.